This will go. Oh sh. Yo. Come on now. I thought I was gonna be crazy to not the post, bro. I did a little poll once again. Come on now. I, every time I do a poll, I, I come through. Don't I? Flashback. A pardon? I beg your pardon? End of flashback. Okay then. What? How y'all doing today, bro? I'm doing great. I think today's Sunday. Feel great outside, but I'm not about to go hoop. It's like 90 degrees. Not fucking with that, bro. Simple. Shut up, bitch. By the title of the video, y'all already see me about to be talking about, bro. Top 10 Marvel movies, bro. This about to be probably one of my most controversial fucking top 10s ever. Because some of y'all top 10 Marvel movies probably don't even make it, bro. And this is probably the only top 10 I'm doing, like, real honorable mentions. Because it's, it's some of them that need to be on it. Simple, because it's a great movie. But it just didn't make my top 10. Simple. Before we even get to this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, bro. Bro, the one key. I think we like 80 more than 80, 80 people is not a lot, bro. Go tell your mother, hey, can I see your phone real quick? Cloudy one, first person to pop up. I ain't gonna lie. Quick little subscribe, bro. Your little brother. Hey, can we kid friendly, I, I guess? He can watch me, bro. Simple. Come on, now. But, let's get into this video. At number 10, I got Spider-Man No Way Home, bro. One of the best fucking Spider-Man movies we saw in a minute, bro. Like, bro, this movie had all the Spider-Mans, bro. Even the second one, the worst one, in my opinion. But they had him. Even though he was one, he was probably the best Spider-Man in that movie. If you know, you know, type shit. He was putting up some good... Lord jokes here and there type shit. Wait, 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 wait. I love you guys. Thank you. All right, let's do this. Let's but yeah, had all the villains, all the fucking superheroes. They had, they had everyone. It was a great movie, bro. And that little plot, I ain't gonna tell y'all to end it. I'm gonna let y'all watch it if y'all ain't watch it already. The little plot twist at the end, Actually, I don't care. You should have watched it already. The little plot twist when fucking Peter Parker had to choose between his friends or keeping them safe or being friends with him, bro. It's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. At number nine, bro, I got X Men First Class, bro. One of my favorite X Men movies, bro. I'm not going to lie to y'all, bro. My favorite character on X Men, I ain't gonna lie. It's low key between Logan or the little fire nigga. I ain't gonna lie, even though he he came good at the end, thank God. He one of my favorite characters, bro. At number eight, respectfully, bro. I got it was between these two movies. I ain't gonna lie. But my preference, I got Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2 is the best Iron Man. I'm not gonna lie. Iron Man 1 was cool. Iron Man 3 was cool. But Iron Man 2, the little dude with the electric, he wasn't playing, bro. You killed his father. Now he's about to kill you. He almost killed you. If you ever had that little the little nigga that was driving the car and his your girl, you'd have been dead, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's tough. He drive like dead trying. Why he trying to fight him without the suit? That's weird. Though. That's the only thing I ain't really fuck with. Fight, fight him on his max fucking velocity. His max power, bro. Who the fuck is Tony Stark without the suit? A multi-billionaire. Pain. That's crazy. He a multi-billionaire, bro. Just give me like two of those. <laughs> what the fuck? But, yeah, like I was saying, these two movies, is, you can go evil well. But my preference at number seven... I got that Incredible Hulk. This is the best Incredible Hulk movie ever. I don't care what no one says, bro. 
I wasn't, this is the only Incredible Hulk movie that I was really like, damn, this nigga, if I had a nightmare about this nigga, bro, this running after me, imagine you seeing this nigga run after you. The other one, the the newest one, he's mid. I never fuck. I fuck with him a little bit in um Avengers, but uh, not that much. He became basically Grey Hawk. Fuck out of here, nigga. Nobody don't fuck a Grey Hawk for real. We want to see you be Red Hawk. Simple. Incredible Hawk had basically the most terrifying superhero of all time. I don't care what no one says. Nobody else is putting fear in niggas heart but a green 10 foot demon, bro. At number five, I got Civil War, bro. This movie, I know some of people, some people fuck with it. Some people didn't. I don't know. I don't know why. This is the movie where Spider Man said, hold up. I'm one of the, I'm the, I mean, who better? Thor? Um, it's the Wanda. Not that many people that's better than Spider Man, bro. On in the Marvel fucking cinema, I ain't gonna lie. Like, come on now. So when I saw him basically take, he ain't say, "Give me that, Captain America. You cool enough? But I'll still beat your ass. I'm a fan." But let's throw these hands. Simple. That's a quick little bop for y'all. Try to hear it. Come on now. I got three honorable mentions for y'all, bro. That didn't make my list. So, I end up putting Doctor Strange at number five, y'all, yeah, instead of Audible Mention. These movies was decent. They was good. But they just wasn't top ten. It's hard to get top ten now, you feel me? But, number, number one, it's respectfully Bleed, bro. Even though I fuck with Bleed, the whole series is great. It just don't have the fucking qualities of being top 10. The action is not touching none of these movies because it came out with 1990, respectfully. It's a great movie, though. I, I don't, don't another Blade movie supposed to come out? If it go crazy, updated top 10. Simple, you feel me? It's like, but, yeah. And the last one, respectfully... It's Black Panther, bro. This is going to be controversial, but like, bro, Black Panther was really, I was, I had him in number 10. I was like, hold up. Is Black Panther better than No Way Home? I was like, no, it's not. If you talk about everything that happened in both movies, it's not, bro. Am I tripping? Comment it down below, bro. Comment down below y'all top 10. Number four, I got Avengers Endgame, bro. This is gonna be like, damn, why the fuck is this not number one? What are you thinking, Juan? It's not number one to me. It's a great movie, but like, ugh. It's other, it's other movies that's better, bro. It had a, a lot of fucking superheroes in it, but so do a lot of other movies. It throw dirty a lot in this movie, bro. Got that nigga fat and shit, like, come on, bro. Nigga throw him with the fucking depression and shit, like, come on, bro. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. That shit was just funny as shit. I ain't gonna lie. The movie was great, though. But respectfully, y'all probably like, where's these movies at? You, you probably got one of the worst top tens, one. No, the top ten not over. Simple. At number three, that's Spider-Man. Spider-Man is one of my favorite superheroes, if y'all can't tell. It got three, three, four, four movies on here Spider-Man was in already. Here go. The nigga like that. I'm sorry. Excuse my French. The nigga Rodo. <laughs> but yeah, Spider-Man, he's a great superhero, bro. Spider-Man the movie, first one, classic, everyone knows about it, especially my generation. I don't know if you like 10 years old, you just probably still watch it on Disney, but 
Just don't hear the same when you go to a movie theater and see Spider-Man first time in theaters. I ain't gonna lie. But, respectfully, Spider-Man 2 is better, bro. Now below, which Spider-Man is better? All time. I want to see that too. One of the best Spider-Man scenes is when he was holding the... I don't know how he did it. I don't know how, how that spider web that strong. But he hold that whole train with two spider webs, bro. And not two, but it was... He held his, how the fuck you hold a train with spider webs, bro? Come on now. That's just tough. And then when the... When the... His, his fucking mask was off. And then the civilian was like... Bro, you got that. It's cool. You saved our life. What we tell your secret? You don't... Come on now. You New Yorkers. <laughs> You're cool people. No. If y'all knew and y'all said, dang, this top tip valid, bro. Leave a little like, comment, and subscribe, bro. I'm gonna lie. But, for one, bro, I ain't gonna lie. It's Avengers Infinity War, bro. Oh my god, how is Infinity War better than that game? It is, bro. Simple. And if Avengers Infinity will basically show how powerful that nigga Thanos is. Thanos got 71 at one point. It didn't matter. Only had one stone. What's up? He stormed. He, he said basically he don't need that. He fighting. He fought the multiple fucking superheroes without the gauntlet, bro. What the fuck? This nigga's a demon. Thanos don't care. And I know you killed half of the race, but you, if you really think about it, bro, the world, he was like, if I don't do this, basically, your world is going to be destroyed anyway. So let me... Oh, Groot. No. Even though the whole event, the whole world was against him, he still did it with ease. Simple. He took that shit out of my fucking with a face head like it was a fucking piece of candy, bro. That nigga shut down. He one of the most powerful ones too. Took that shit. Give me that shit, nigga. That shit is tough. He put Thor in. He, he took Thor hard. Told that nigga you should have went for the head, nigga. Bang. Simple. But it's your boy Cloudy One, bruh. More consistent videos on the way. And I'm out.